Well, good morning from the Big Easy. I uh, moved my parking spot, but uh, I didn't move it that far. I was parked right over there last night because I ran into some friends of mine I met at Schoolie Palooza. So I want to introduce you guys to the Margo Tenen bus. Hey, what's up, Jax? On uh, Instagram. How's it going? Good. How are you guys doing? Hey, yeah, man. <laughs> um, Sorry for the artificial hello. We just did a full interview for my friend's channel, Bus of Adventure. Um, but let me give you guys a quick run through of theirs. Hey everybody, come on inside. And by the way, this is a uh, full-size bus, a little bit longer than I'm thinking for number two. So, how do you like having such a big bus? Um, uh, the storage is great. Um, as far as driving around a city like New Orleans, it can be a little hairy, <laughs> but uh, otherwise we love it. Um, we uh, we lucked out being able to uh, yeah have as much space to work with as we got. Sweet. All right. Well, I don't want to hold you up. So what do we have going on here, and what what is this thing? Um, this is a 1995 International 3800. Um, you know, pretty standard setup as far as mechanical goes. Uh, we it was a functioning school bus when we bought it. And we gutted it and redid everything, and yeah. from insulation to obviously the build out. Yeah, um, and we ha we actually have the same engine. That's right. That's right. T four forty four E, the, oh. uh, the seven point three. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Got got our electrical up front under the booth. Uh huh. Um, Down here. Yep. Solar yep. power. Yep. Uh, Solar fridge. How do you, and uh, this is the winter we said in the uh, mm -hmm. earlier thing. So you guys yep. like the DC fridge? Yes. Yeah, it's great. Um, it's uh, you know super efficient as far as the solar goes, um, and no surge when the compressor kicks on, which is really nice. Wow, it's hard my, to find. I wish I could say the same. Yeah. Um, you know, try to find as much reclaimed stuff as possible. You know, used sink things like that. Uh, we rigged up a hood for our camping stove when we have it out. Mm -hmm. Fifty-five gallon. A freshwater drum there that's uh, underneath the counter. Um, that was also a used item as well, but food grade, so that's good. Um, Piecemeal shower with our washing machine pan down there. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, the shower head came with our hot water heater, which is a tankless propane uh, vents out through Those here. Those are great, yeah. Um, and uh, a camping uh, uh, compost toilet as well. So we kept things pretty simple. Nice. Um, you know, didn't want to have to do a lot of work with uh, with propane tanks and gray water, uh, black water tanks. We do have gray water, but that's that's about it. Um, in uh, in our bed area. All right. Very cool. So, anyways, if you guys want to see more about their travels, what they do on the road, the places they go, the things you eat, possibly. Oh Sometimes. yeah. And where can everybody <laughs> find you guys? Uh, on Instagram, it's at margo.tenenbus. Perfect. Uh, and uh, there's a Facebook page as well. All right. Yeah. And we just actually randomly bumped into each other, or saw each other, messaged each yes, other. Right. Yeah. And yeah. Steampunk Steve told me to come to this spot and park. And yeah. guess who told them to come yeah. here and park as well? Steampunk Steve. Steve. <laughs> Always looking out. That's, that's so hilarious. I, lo I love the school bus community. <laughs> I was just gifted some natural products. Um, in this is from the K-A-I-N-A-T yep, brand, which is your company? Yep, Kainat Beauty. We uh, do natural body care and some cosmetics as well. Um, this is <laughs> an all-natural uh, healing balm, so it's like a salve. It's uh, really thick and intensive, <laughs> but you can, use, good, <laughs> yeah, you, you can use it all over. You can use it as lip balm. It's great for cuticles and really dry hands. It's like a therapeutic type thing. Yeah, and, it, and it, I, I said uh, just a second ago, Smells like surf wax, which I like. <laughs> and then this is an uh, all-natural uh, soap. Yep, uh, it's uh, African black, black soap with uh, potash and charcoal, so it's really great for your complexion. Um, it's uh, pretty good for sensitive skin. It's made with organic coconut oil and olive oil. All right, cool. Um, you can use it all over. Sweet, and I'm going to use that in all my 2,000 parts. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to hit the road and uh, keep heading east. I have not followed up with driving and vibing yet. They are in Alabama? How does it work over here? Mississippi? Um, I don't know. I don't know the southern states too well. But they're uh, over on the Mobile area, I think. And um, so, yeah, I need to follow up with them. Um, I'm going to try and stop by a place where somebody is working and they said, hey, I saw you're in town, swing on by. So that's what I'm going to stop by there and see if that is going to work. And then otherwise, we're going to hit the road. Alright, so I stopped by to met uh, Alice here. 
And uh, <laughs> Alice got a hold of me and was like, hey, I saw your bus, I saw your town, come by the shop. So I came by her work, Woo-hoo! interrupted her, and she, you're... I'm so dirty. She's... What are you working on? You're a mechanic. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I was... I'm rebuilding my engine for my truck right now. Cool. Um, so let's go see my truck. Let's do it. Woo-hoo. This is your ride, huh? This is my crusty ride. But there's no engine. There's no engine in it right now. And what are you doing to the engine? I'm rebuilding it, or I'm going to... I'm... I have a Ford 300 engine that's on its way here that I also need to rebuild, but I might be putting that one in here. Does that mean it's, it's going to be bigger, faster? It's bigger, yeah. The engine I have is a 223 right now. Um, that's in the shop, and I'm slowly taking it apart between actually like working on it. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks yeah, for hitting me up. Yeah, thank you. All right, have fun with the rebuild. Woohoo! <laughs> so I don't know where I am, but I passed by this on the way to the mechanic place. And... Uh, this is an old, abandoned, I don't know, I think she said Navy building or something like that. And apparently this is a spot where everybody comes, they do some artwork, and uh, I don't know. New Orleans is pretty cool, it's pretty cool. There's all kinds of a, abandoned places and rundown places and God, I mean some of these houses here are just so beautiful and so historical, but uh, there's a sign specifically for me Go back to Cali. <laughs> I bet people are getting a steal of a deal for some of these houses out here, but of course you gotta do some DIY on it because um, uh, they're so run down and you know destroyed from the, the hurricanes and stuff. So like I was saying, this town is super cool and I don't know the history of this place obviously. Uh, just literally was passing by and then I decided to come in here. Um, but I have seen so, so, so many abandoned places um, around town. And it seems like in this town, it is, um, let's just say, a bit less enforced. There seems to be a bit more, I don't know, a bit more craziness to this town. Even when I was walking around Bourbon Street last night, Saw these dudes, like just kind of stand on the corner, looking a little mischievous, and then it reminded me of this um, Vice documentary I saw on like a drug dealer on Bourbon Street. So I was thinking to myself after I left, I was like, "Wait, was that the dude? <laughs> was that the dude from the documentary that they blurred his face and was like selling drugs on Bourbon Street?" So um, if anybody is from this town, feel free to confirm. Uh, what it said or not, but it just seems like a kind of, not quite lawless town, but just kind of like a, I don't know, like a free-for-all. Whoa. This is pretty crazy looking. Josh and Cody would definitely, definitely like this place. Um, someone's baby stroller? Not really sure why there was a baby stroller. And my goodness, look at, look at how gnarly this is. Whoa, there's some workout equipment. <laughs> how crazy is that? Yeah, and it is a little like dusty in here. So I definitely understand why uh, Josh and Cody use those, uh, those mouth things, um, the ventilators, because it's just, it can be pretty gross in here. Um, but yeah, this is uh, some kind of big area. And uh, it looks like a fire extinguishing unit or something. I'm not really sure how long I'm gonna hang out in here because I do want to hit the road and head towards my next place. But I did want to show you guys, you know, what you can expect around here as far as, um, you know, places to see, you know, some of the urban culture, you know, part of the city here. So, yeah, very, it's like beautiful in a, a kind of like, I don't know, kind of like decaying way. Like there is, I don't know if anyone else agrees, but, it's almost kind of beautiful to see it crumbling. 
I'm just doing a little check for nails. There's a bunch of uh, potentially pokey stuff everywhere in here. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's hit the road. You're never gonna guess what. Got spotted again. Exploring with Rick? Explore with Rick. Explore with Rick. Hey. Jax. I had no idea you would be here. <laughs> me neither. What? <laughs> we finally get to meet. I know, very nice I to meet you. I had no idea like, you were here at all. Uh, yeah, I got here two nights ago, really? actually. I like that camera. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I just got done filming in there. That was cool. Another urban, uh, like another explorer, urban adventurer <laughs> person over here. Explore with Rick. Yep. Nice to meet you, man. yesterday's video I finally sent out the postcards so thank you for your patience <laughs> to the winners and sorry it took me so long um, not gonna go into why I sucked at sending them out but I am going to announce another uh, another giveaway uh, and also I feel terrible because there's three leftovers from people who didn't see the comment I'm really not really sure what to do I have a stamp on there and they're ready to go by the way this is open to international people, uh, or international, yeah, international addresses. Um, the post office has international stamps, forever stamps, and I think they're like a buck fifty. So, um, yeah, so no problem. Uh, sent off one to Australia and one to Taiwan. So that was neat to be able to do that. So we got one, two, eleven. Let's throw in these ones here too. So we got fourteen. 14 possible winners. I suggest um, if you do want a postcard, I'll try and stop and get some more. Um, there's a little bell next to the um, subscribe button. You could always turn that on and that way, um, if you do want to win, um, you'll see some notifications that either sent to your phone or email or something. I don't know. You, you have to figure out that on your end of it. But um, I'm going to send out 14. So. All you gotta do, just write a comment. Just, you know, say whatever, say hi. Um, you know, tell me about your day. Whatever you wanna put. All right, here's an update on uh, bus number two. My friend and I, my friend by the way is an incredible builder. You'll meet him at some point. Cause it looks like either option he is willing to help me out. And I think there's both different options we have can both be good options. Uh, just gonna say that so uh, he's got connections we're looking for buses I'm gonna be looking online if anyone has a connection uh, to, to any I don't know bus place or school district that uh, sells buses please let me know I'd be much obliged um, also have a few more people to thank who uh, joined up on patreon uh, first thank you goes out to uh, Jacqueline Duran thank you very much uh, next one is Sandy Long Thank you very much as well. It is much appreciated. Um, and we have Joyce Smith signed up. Thank you, Joyce. And uh, jo Georgiana uh, Thornton. Thank you. Also, thank you, John Hansen. Um, it is much appreciated. Uh, thank you to Doug Gray. And thank you to Scotty P. I appreciate all of you. And uh, now it's time to hit the road again. Well, guess where I made it to? If anybody has driven I-10, you have probably seen this magnificent rest area in Alabama. It is the Alabama Welcome Center. Uh, I drove from um, Louisiana to Alabama in about 50 miles or something like that. Um, anyways, this is a great place. It is a little confusing because when you come in, <laughs> there is a sign that clearly says no overnight parking. Right? So you think to yourself, what kind of rest stop allows no overnight parking? But 
and I wasn't going to park here, but I saw a security guard, and, and I just happened to ask him, like, hey, so where's the dump spot? And he said, over there, which, by the way, they didn't have a hose. Anyway, it's a separate story. I'm not going to use my drinking water hose for my flush hose. Common sense. Anyways, then I said, also, where should I park overnight? Because I saw the no overnight parking site. He said, oh, they made that the, a wrong sign. That just means you can't abandon a car for 24 hours. Bizarre. I know. Anyways, um, we are going to meet up with Driving and Vibin' tomorrow. Um, across the way. Uh, in well, Actually, in Alabama. So that will be a fun video. Uh, those are uh, a favorite of badges in uh, L. So uh, you know, just catching up on a few videos of theirs. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be a fun day. So looking forward to it. Um, what else is exciting news? Uh, I think that was it. I'll see you guys on the road tomorrow. Thanks for watching.